We're here with one of the, I guess along with Yakubu Amadou, a guy who's probably the most known in this tournament to the fans out there. He's fought on ESPN, you fought on ESPN a bunch of times. Miguel Silky Smooth Gonzalez. Uh, Ryan a high now. You've got two big wins, uh, Acosta and, and Dos Santos uh, in, in the last fight. Um, you feel this tournament's coming along right there at the perfect time for you, being uh, that your career is pretty much on an upswing? Uh, I, I wouldn't say perfect time. Uh, perfect time to me would have been a long time ago. <laughs> but unfortunately, this is the way uh, things played out. Um, you know, coming off of uh, a win against a former world champion and then uh, turning around and um, two months later, uh, a top prospect, I guess it all fit in at the right time, you know. But uh, if it was up to me, I would have had this a long time ago. Now, you've been in with some real quality opposition. You feel, um, you know, you and a couple other guys have faced top talent. There are other guys who haven't faced top guys. You feel... That I mean, beside your skill level, I mean, you feel, you feel you're the guy to beat in this tournament. Yes, absolutely. I feel I'm the one to beat, and um, you know, I, I feel uh, that's not going to happen. Um, you know, I'm ready mentally and physically, and that's that's just what's important. You know, and that's the reason why um, people have been getting a notice of me more so than ever. You know, is because of. Uh, you know what I've been doing as of late. I mean, it's just unfortunate. It's just fortunately I have uh, you know a promoter now. Before we was doing things our way and um, learning as we was um, you know as we went. So that's what it is. You've been fighting ten round fights for the better part of the last few years. Tomorrow night, six round fight. Mindset change any any way in how how you go about your business? Yes, yes, for sure. Um, you know my style of fight and. You know, I was adapted to the 10 and 12 round fights, you know, looking for the 10 and looking for the 12 round fights. Um, it's going backwards for me and what I was looking for. But that's OK, though. I was a top amateur with four rounds. So with that being said, I think, um, you know, going back to the amateurs a little bit, shall get me through this bout with no problem. Um, but still, I'm looking forward for the uh, breaking down of my opponent and uh, me taking him out. Uh you were on the cusp of getting getting bigger fights, winning this tournament. They they pretty much they have to let you in the door. Is that the way you think about it? Yes, uh, you couldn't have said it any better. Um, we tried for the bigger fights, and um, you know I wouldn't say no names out there, but uh, they wouldn't take the fights. And these are the names that in the boxing world um, believe are the top guys. And we have reached out for them. So with that being said, I'm in this tournament, Boxino. And um, I plan on taking this tournament like anything else. And, um, yeah, mandatory shot at the la latter half of the year, if God permits. You had, you've had some inactivity uh, in your, on your record. No knowing if you continue to win three fights in three months, uh, are you looking forward to that possibly? Yes, yes, I'm looking forward to that. Three fights in three months going to be uh, great. And, um, you know, just a boost of confidence behind the wins and, um, you know, great preparation for the big fight. Anything you want to say in closing to your fans out there? Absolutely. Uh, you know, the all of the whole state of Ohio, I'm around everywhere in the city of Cleveland. Big ups, man. You already know Silk's moving the building. And um, just, um, you know, keep supporting me, and I'm going to keep fighting for you and my fans and um, all my loved ones out there. You want the Browns to pick Johnny Menzel? Uh, well... <laughs> We got to I got to think about all that, you know, with the Brown situation, the Cavaliers as well. We're hoping for the Cavs to make the playoffs and um, you know, the Browns. I got a lot of uh good players on that team. I look forward to uh, you know, having a winning team. Period. Well, we got Kyrie Irving that uh, win the MVP last week in the All-Star game and Cleveland looking for another big sports performance tomorrow night. Miguel Gonzalez best of luck. Silky smooth with the MVK knockout. Most valuable knockout. <laughs> no.